Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and this video is going to be way too long. I have a lot of footage of my husband and myself distressing denim, trying to figure out what technique works the best, and overall if this is worth it. Spoiler alert, this was a lot of work and I don't think I would do this again. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And today we are going to try to distress denim. I'm a little distressed thinking about it already. <laughs> and that was really funny. Mm. So a few things I bought at the craft store is a mat. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. And you said we could probably just put it on cardboard and cut it or something like that. But I really no, wanted like to a protect. Cutting, a cutting board like they have. Remember we used to have that plastic one that was real we thin? Did. We could have used that. We could have, but we don't have that anymore. No, but somebody out there could. They, yeah. would, they wouldn't have to they go. They might not even need a cutting board. I'm going to yeah. try a couple different ways of doing this. Okay. Also, I picked up this rotary cutter. Will we be having pizza later? I know. Mm. Do you want to do it? Yes. Okay. And then just push this in? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It'd be cooler if it worked the other way, then it'd be like a switchblade cutter. Because if it opened up, you'd like, and it'd be like, and then <laughs> this way, it's like, you know, you put that. Okay. And we have regular scissors. Because I'm realizing not everybody is going to want to spend the money on this. And even though this was only $4.99. How long I? I went to Hobby Lobby, and they had several of these. And the packages it toward the front said $4.99. And the packages toward the back said $14.99. And I asked the lady for help. And she said these are the best ones. And she'd recommend this one. And I was like, oh, they're only $4.99. And she said that must have been mismarked. Well, that's why we were concerned about these. Because all the rest of them were nowhere near that. We're like, why are these ones? Seriously, these are really pricey. Yeah, why are they $4? And the rest of them were like another $10 more and yeah. above. Yeah. And above. So we thought that maybe it was cheaper ones because the wheel wasn't quite as big. Mm -hmm. But as it turned out, they were just marked wrong. They were marked wrong, and she gave them to me for that price. And then I was thinking about it, like, oh, these worked really well. I should go get another one. Mm -hmm. And I went, and I had a 40% off coupon, mm -hmm. so my second one was only $3. Good. Good, Good. story, right? Good story. And you, yes, good story. <laughs> well, I'm only, I'm only a little concerned about... <laughs> the mistake they made we kind of took advantage of that but in fairness yes they had time to change that back they after did we told them about it and i did tell the second yes. person checking out the story and she yes. said oh that's fine i'll just do it okay so okay oh well, that's fine, fine yes yes that nobody was like oh, i'm not sure about well, that that's kind of silly in their part they should have just went back and changed it when you told them i know okay so yeah we don't feel bad for you at all anymore <laughs> i'll be lobby. i'll be, I'll be. Huge. Yeah. Huge craft store here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're going to need denim. So we're using vintage denim because... I used to wear these. Not those exact ones. No, uh -oh. no, I didn't. I never wore these. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe like six months after I was born. <laughs> he was a big baby. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing we are going to try to do is just cut off the hems. These are already shorts, but if you were to have jeans, you have to basically cut the hems a right. couple inches down from the crotch. Where you would like the length to be. Yeah, Yeah, Good some point. people might let them longer. And keeping in mind that the vagina is in the middle, you want to make sure they're cut longer. <laughs> well, I appreciate the use of the word vagina, <laughs> if nothing else, really. That made the whole thing. I'm not going to say like a cutesy term. I'm all for vagina, okay? <laughs> you got my vote. Go ahead. Um, keeping in mind that you need it maybe longer toward the, the inner part the of bathing, the legs. The bathing suit part. <laughs> the bathing suit area. <laughs> Mama said don't touch me there in those bathing suit parts. We're moving on. <laughs> um, so you might want to keep that in mind and cut them down and cut them a couple inches. You can always go shorter, can but go you shorter. can't go longer. So we have shorts. These are some Ralph Lauren shorts. And we know that's the right way to say it. We're not I know, asked. I know. So we want to just cut off right above this little the seam. headline. Yeah, you want to try to do it? Yes. So all I have to do is press on this? Yeah. Okay. So it. this part is going to be the thickest, so you might want to start out here. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
You so don't have to press pull, that hard. I'll pull it back though? No. Yeah, I don't think you put the blade out though. <laughs> that would make a difference. Now go really close. See how your blade is too far? Move it closer. Yep. Yeah. And watch your fingers. Well, I'm going to pull it back first because it's going to go over this. Uh, go forward first. Okay. You're doing great. Now you're going to want to move your yep. thing. Okay. Look at that. You're doing so great. Perfect. Did you didn't cut through the last, but... Hold on now. Come on, man. You keep pushing the button. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, do you want to flip those and go forward, or you want to just continue? I think I can just pull them back. Okay. I don't think you have to be pushing that hard, but... Well, it's just not going through. So okay. if I was pressing harder... Then... So there we go. Okay. So I'm going to do the second one with scissors. It's like a headband. It is. Nobody's going to see you put it on, so. <laughs> okay, so we have the first cut. You did really well. Thanks. You really did great. Now, if you don't have that neat rotary tool, you can do this with scissors. Get your sharpest pair, of course. This is going to take a while. Okay, we're going to try. I don't think so. This is actually a fairly sharp pair of scissors. So it's doing a lot better than I thought. Okay. How come you don't have the awe scissors? I don't own those anymore. Oh, that's right. Because the cost to get those sharpened was yes, going to be too much. Too much. Oh, yeah, this isn't bad. But this is way easier. Way easier. Also, I might cut myself with that. That's this? yeah. That's a little <laughs> dangerous. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing inherently dangerous about the thing, though. I mean, just it's, the fact that it has a blade. Yes, it is. Well, a scissors dangerous. have a blade. You just sure. have to be careful. <laughs> yes, and I cut myself yeah. with scissors. Okay. So if you're cutting these without having this nice guide, and you're just kind of chopping it. Make sure that the inseam on both sides is about equal. So we have a pair of shorts that are cut off. I'm not going to pull with tweezers or anything because these will just naturally start to fray when I wash them and I'm going to wash them. So next we're going to add a big distressed area. Do you know how to do that? No. Not at all? Um, are you run over with the thing more? Yeah, a little bit. So we want to pull the pockets out. The first step is to pull the pockets but out. But now I don't want to press hard because I don't want to go through both. Correct. In fact, we should put something in there, right? Yeah. So we don't want to cut into the pockets. We don't want to cut into the pockets. Okay. Pocket. So you want to, when you distress, and I've watched a bunch of these videos, so I'm really just repeating knowledge I already have watched from other people. You want to distress on the outside. You do not want to distress where your bathing suit area is. Bathing suit, right? It was a good call the bathing suit <laughs> area, right? It was a good call. See? So you're going to slide your board or anything in the leg. So you're only cutting through one layer, Top layer. and not pockets. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you how to do this okay. and then I'll let you go. All right. So I'm using my cutter mm -hmm. and you want to always make marks that are parallel to the waist and the hem. Okay. So I'm going to cut like just maybe a couple inches. Okay, now also when you say, obviously this is cut at an angle a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So when you say keep it parallel, would it be straight lines or you want the lines to go in the way that it's cut? I think either way is fine. Okay. Good question. All right. So we're going to make another cut mark <clears throat> mm -hmm. slightly under that, about a half inch. Okay. And if you cut too close together, yes. they'll just all turn into yeah, one big mess. Sure. So I'm going to cut about a half inch under. And I don't have to make it the same length. You can make yeah, it slightly. Yeah, I was going to ask you, should it be staggered a little bit too? So you they could don't, stagger them? So they don't line up and just tear out. Yeah, this amount of denim I think is going to be okay. I'm not going to have a tear out there. Right. What I'm going to do on this particular pair is kind of decrease the size. Oh, okay. And so the top one's going to be the widest and the next one's going to be less wide all the way to the smallest. Okay. That's, that's my first plan. All right. Okay, 
So I have about five cut marks. Okay. Now, some people at this point, and you've seen me do this, take a tweezer and pull out strings. Yes. So I have done that to several pairs. I have done that to several pairs and it's very time consuming. I would imagine. So somebody I just watched on Instagram said to just let this go and throw it in the wash. So with this pair, we're going to try that technique. That seems good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you do the other side. And I can cut however many I want. You can cut, yep, keep them a little bit apart like I yes. did. Yep. You're doing great. Is that enough? That's perfect. Okay. So you did five. Okay. And you did them a little bit longer up top, and then you kind of staggered them a little bit. Yes. I love that. I think you did so great. Thanks. So we have one over here, one over here, and I'm going to put one more on this leg. And what's going to happen is I'm going to wash these and then cuff them up like this. And with my flat iron, I'm going to, to iron them in place. Right. So that's kind of the thought. Mm -hmm. So knowing that I'm going to cuff them up, I don't want to go too far down or those will be hidden. Mom used to iron my jeans like that. Did she? With the cuff up? She put a cuff up on it and iron. Yes. Your mom is so nice. <laughs> okay, so I am going to make a little distressed area on this coin pocket. Did you know that's what this was called? Yes. <laughs> I appreciate you're not quoting Family Guy. <laughs> So to do that on this coin pocket, obviously I don't want to go the whole way through. So mm -hmm. rather than use this, I'm going to use a scissor. You could also put a smaller thing in there and still use it. I could. Yeah. I mean, we don't really have a smaller thing at this point. Well, you're going to put the tip this right here. Okay, maybe. So with the scissor, I'm going to fold the denim in half. Now you have to watch you don't go too deep, right? Because well, I'm kind of holding the pocket out. But you did that in order, you don't, you don't want to go, you only want to go through the, the coin pouch. <laughs> yes. You really want to say something. <laughs> okay. So I've got one little thing. I'm going to make another little thing. Okay. Here's, here's the only thing I'll say. What? Please tell me if anybody out there knows the family guy bit about the coin purse. Okay. That's Ready? the only thing you're going to say. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's it. The coin pocket. I don't think it's called the coin pouch. Coin, coin purse. Coin. I, I think. This I, is a coin pocket. It's definitely a coin pocket. Oh, okay. I can't remember in the Family Guy, but if it was called the coin pocket. You or said coin you were only going to discuss that once. I, I didn't give anything away. I just asked a question. We can't see us again. Okay. Well, I'm showing off. Good. What I did there. Okay. So this pair, I am going to leave alone on the back. Sometimes people distress an area. Do you want to distress there? You feel this is good? That's good. Yeah? Yeah. I kind of feel like I want to distress okay, the area on the back. back. Yeah. Okay, so the coin pocket's this one, so I'm going to distress this one. And I need to put something in there. Can you just put it in the, at an angle like this? I don't think it's going to. I want to do it down here. Do it down here. Here's what I'm going to do. I know these are going to get cut off anyway. Yeah, but you're still, how are you going to know that you get underneath? How are you going to know I'm, that you haven't cut the one through? I could cut through all of those. It's two layers of a very thick denim. I think I'm going to be okay. Open. That's fine. Now I'm just going to use this and very thick denim. There's one. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, there's two, and I'm going to do one more up here. There we go. I barely made it through. <laughs> okay. okay, so on the back pocket, I now have three parallel lines. They're already starting to fray a little bit. So this pair is good. We are going to put this in the wash. We're gonna do one more pair. All right, good. <laughs> I need a drink first. Okay. So since we have done shorts, I thought we would attempt to cut jeans. These vintage riders, 
Um, they're not super old. I'm going to say they're from what, the 80s maybe? Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I would, I would say that's probably true. So I'm making these to sell. So if these are just for you, you might want to put these on, get some chalk or some kind of marker and mark the length. But since I'm just assuming somebody is going to want these short-ish, I'm going to double the legs. and go a few inches under. I'm going to make these a little bit longer since I'm going to cut them up and then just take them kind of like that. Okay. And I want to make sure somebody's butt is going to be covered so I'm not going to take them up at a very steep angle. I got it. Got it? Yep. Okay. You just one at a time? One at a time. So do you want to do the first one? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to mark these for you because I need to. Just do this. Just put this where you want. Okay. Back in. And then I can just follow that. I already made the first little cut, okay. so it's got to be about that. And about right there. This first little cut's already in here? Yep. So just follow this now? Yep. You're doing great. You're doing perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the first side done. Now what we're going to do is put those I got you. like this, and you can go either way. You can either then trace this line, or you can trace this line. So whichever you feel is easiest. This might actually be an easier line to trace, but that's you fine. want to trace that. That's fine. Right. Well, what? Uh, yeah, because this is going to be the part that remains. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. after it's done, so I'd rather cut from this. Okay. Than, than try to get, because this part there, you know what I mean? I that, that actually does, don't. That That's seems okay. less accurate to me. Okay. So I'm going to try to, so I'm going to try to smooth these out as much as possible and get the inseams to match up. I guess I should have said, I feel like it would be easier to cut them too short using that other method. Okay. This way, you know... You have to go longer. Right, right. Okay, so that's about where we need to go. Now you want me to follow this as exact as I can, right? Correct. That's right. What are you doing? Well, I just want to know where I can see this thing. Okay. If they're off just a little bit, it's not mm -hmm. going to matter. You're doing great. <sighs> Professional gene cutter right there. Okay, so this is what they look like so far. They look great. So now what you want to do is just make sure the inseams are about the same. Perfect. Pretty good. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we have jean shorts that look like this and this. And we are going to need to distress these in about the same way. I'll probably roll up the hems and do that same thing. It's good you didn't get any bigger thing. I know. Because it fits in there great. Well, this one was the cheapest. So yeah. pull the pockets out or make sure the board is over the pockets so you're not cutting into pockets. All right, best to pull the pockets out. I can actually feel oh, okay. that I'm not going to cut in pockets. You can feel in there. No, in your case, but I'm saying like if you're a rookie, it'd probably yeah. be best to make Well, I'm a rookie too. <laughs> do you want to make some cuts? Yes. Okay. Keep them toward up here. Okay. And don't go any further than about here. Okay. Good. Can't see what I'm doing there. You're doing it. Yeah. You might want to try to keep them a little bit more more straight. You're oh, curving okay. in quite some. Okay. Feel free to move the board. Okay. Show me more this way. Yes. But slight. I'm going to do it uh, easy. A quick. I mean, a little bit at a time. I'm not going to straighten it out all at once. Okay, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. I think that's perfect. Okay. So on this one, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to put one up here. Okay. So I'm going to want one, when you cuff it, just more down here. So okay. do you want to do that? Yes. 
So keep it like above here and below. Hold on, okay. let me pull the pocket out. We're not above the pocket. Still not above the pocket. Why are we going? Why, why are you just not pulling it out? It's stitched pretty far down, so it's oh, not okay. like like I could just pull. Mm -hmm. I think we got it now. Okay, now you move the board to where you need it. Now go above this because this is going to be flipped over. So start about here, like okay. in this general area. Okay. Yep. I'm doing great. Perfect. So we got four. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. Last place we're going to stitch on the front. Stitch, stitch, stitch is going to be right here okay so this doesn't have this is the pocket <laughs> yes this doesn't have a coin pocket on it right. so um it would always be on the right side if it did well i don't know about that but oh. just make a couple perfect perfect i'm pretty sure they'd always be on the right side yeah yes because every jean pocket i've ever had is always on the right side okay Now we'll do one on the back, and I will get the extra denim to stick in there for you. You know what else would work? What? One of my putty knives. Those oh, ones. yeah, that would work. I see what you mean. Huh. Yeah, anything you can, so mm -hmm. it doesn't go the whole way through. Even if it went the whole way through, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. But Okay, so I just need you to cut, put a lot in there, just a couple right there. Great. Great. Perfect. We've made three cuts, so we're going to have two sections. Mm -hmm. And this pair is ready for the wash. Bear has to go work later, so I'm going to continue to cut all 30 pairs or whatever, and then I'm going to do a couple loads of laundry. And when you get home, mm -hmm. you'll see the finished product. Ooh, okay. The big reveal. The big reveal. You have anything else to say? Um, we went to the beach yesterday. Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday, and it was not warm enough for us to be in because we're wusses, but it was nice to sit on the beach. It was. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. We're glad we live here. We are glad we live here. And we say that because we want to tell people that we're thankful, not because we want to rub it in. That's so true. Because some people do that. Yeah. And they're like, ooh, too bad you We live, yeah. No. We we're, live here. Ha, ha, yeah. ha. But we're just grateful that we do. Yeah. And we can show a clip, maybe. I'll put a clip in for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And like I said, I'm just going to continue. I'll have film running, film footage running, the video running. What's the word for that? I will continue filming. I will continue filming. Okay.
waiting for my flat iron to heat up. Ooh, I have a T3 hair straightener iron. I found it at a thrift store, maybe even the bins, I don't know. I've probably used this for my actual hair only once. <laughs> So I should probably sell this, but this came in handy for cuffing and putting the cuffs in place in vintage denim. So who makes these? Riders. This is just a pair of, I'm guessing like 80s, maybe 90s, made in Mexico cotton shorts. I have done the distressing. These used to be a pair of jeans and I've cut them. I've distressed them and now I want to add cuffs. Of course I could just cuff these but I want to really kind of put the cuffs so they stay. I want to get the cuffs to the point where they kind of stay in place when somebody gets them. And the first thing I've been doing is just to make the cuff. Some of the cuffs I'm doing really skinny cuffs and others can go a little higher. This probably has a three or four inch inseam, so I could probably go a little higher, but some of the shorts I cut really short. So I'll show you that here in a second with the other pair. So I'm gonna do like an inch cuff, so I have about a two and a half inch inseam. And some of them I'm making the cuffs a little bit more asymmetrical, and some of them the cuffs are going kind of straight across. And I'm gonna do a straight across with this one. <laughs> So I'm just taking my flat iron and using it to iron the cuffs. My flat iron is about 400 degrees. I can feel that the denim is hot, but I haven't burned any yet. And I've cuffed probably about 20 pairs. So when I did the distressing, I didn't distress the very ends. So that way the cuff doesn't have any distressing to it. So. I can now see that the cuff is kind of in place. I just go over it a few times and then I work on one cuff at a time. So I flip this over, get the cuff where I want it, kind of keep it straight across. When I cut the denim, I was a little bit more aware of not cutting it super short in the back. So I think I've spent a total of about, I've spent hours on these, but I have about 30 pairs. So when you do the total math, other than like washing and drying time, which wasn't hands-on, the hands-on time was probably about 20 minutes per pair. I really don't know if I would do this again. It was a good learning thing. I guess it depends on how well they sell. So I'm going to do the other cuff. I'm going to price these, make sure they're even. I'm going to price them for probably about $20 in my eBay store. Some of them might go a little higher if they're like vintage Levi's or uh, I've got a pair of really bright green Calvin Klein's, but some of them might not even sell for $20. So. Time overall, I don't think this was worth it if you can make money just by listing something as is. I didn't enjoy most of this process just because cutting the denim uh, bothered my hands and my wrists. Like there's a lot of cutting into denim, which is not the easiest thing when you struggle with pain. So if you're pain-free, go for it. If you struggle with wrist pain, hand pain, arm pain, this is something I might advise to stray away from. And my husband did help with some of the cutting, which, which was a good thing. Because yesterday <laughs> was a little bit rough for me. I slept a lot of the day, just from the pain overall. But yeah, I don't think 20 minutes is a big investment when you only have a few to do. And if you're doing this on your own denim, obviously it might be worth it. But so here's what they look like. I'll flat leave them. They're cute. 
they're they're not something I would wear. I don't really wear shorts all that much anymore. Um, I'm more of a skirt person. Okay, so I have four more pairs to do, but these are the vintage Calvin Kleins. They're kind of like a citrusy yellow green color. And they have a button fly, and you can just tell, I've washed all of these to add this distressing so I didn't have to pull threads. So I am going to cuff these. This inseam is only about an inch and a half, so these are going to have a very thin cuff, but they are very wrinkly. I don't know why they're this wrinkly. I took the denim out of the dryer when it was still slightly wet, just really damp. So I was hoping not to have any of these issues, but this is about the first pair I've come across that that need to be ironed before I iron the cuff in. Okay. So this one I'm really going to do with a very tiny cuff toward the crotch area and then kind of go up a little bit. So there's the first cuff you can see toward the inseam. It's, it's a very small cuff. Turn these over. These are gonna be like booty shorts here. Hey, maybe I'll use that in the description. Yeah, these are a pain in the neck. I wouldn't do these 30 times in a row. I don't know why this cotton has folded over a little bit more, but the fringes give me a little bit of a problem. Okay. So those are gonna go on the side. I've done those, done those. These are a pair I did with actual tweezers. These were the very first pair. So these are a little bit rough. I learned some some tips and tricks as I went, but I'm going to cuff these up. These are gonna be much easier to cuff up. The inseam is much longer. That makes it a little bit easier. These are just gap. I'm guessing these are from the early 2000s, so this isn't like anything special. But somebody might be glad to get a pair of these. I'm guessing if you went in Gap today, which I'm guessing Gap still has stores. I don't really shop it. <laughs> I don't shop at Gap at all. Growing up, we used to have a Gap that was fairly close. And I remember going in and buying stuff on clearance. I remember exactly what it looked like, which is weird because my memory is not that great. And I remember buying the scent grass. My mom, my mom liked that scent. Somebody liked that scent. We bought a lot of bottles when it... It was starting to um, be discontinued. And I, now I think there's companies that produce scents that match scents, and grass is one of them. I looked it up a while back. But if you have a bottle of the original grass, I think it goes for a good bit. So if you went into Gap now, I'm guessing these might be like retail, maybe 30 to 40 bucks. Okay, so yeah, that went much quicker. My last pair, these are my favorites. They're all shades of blue. And these are, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Shays? C-H-A-U-S, Sport, 100% cotton. These are a size 16, but I'm guessing this would probably fit like more like an eight or 10. And I left these longer on purpose. I did a weird cut. These were toward the beginning. I should have cut them up, but instead I cut them down, which most jeans, if you're gonna cut them, you wanna go straight across or slightly from longer to shorter. And I cut these, <laughs> cut these weird. So I'm going to cut these so they have a wider cuff toward the seam, toward the outside, and a little bit of a thinner cuff. If I had to do these again, I would I would cut these differently, but they're done now. 
we're not going back and recutting denim and washing it and drying it and ironing it. <laughs> it's too much work for that much denim. I do have probably another 10 pairs of jeans that I'm gonna list without cutting them. And if they don't sell, and these do, I probably will put the effort back into the other 10 pairs. These have a print, obviously, so you can't see the distressing as much when they're a color, like a dark blue and a solid, you can see the distressing of the white more, but um, the color denim, like the aqua, the pink, the light greens, the yellow I just showed, you can't see it as much from afar. But this has a good bit of distressing on it. I did both pockets with these. I love these. Um, the little coin pocket, both sides of the legs. Okay, so there's one, one cuff. Now, second one's always a little bit tougher because I want to get them as symmetrical as I can. I do like that the cuffs are a little bit more white and solid, so that does give contrast. These are such cool print. I might put these on for $30. Again, I don't foresee them all selling, but I didn't pay much per pair. I'm still working off of those, um, the stuff I got from the Goodwill closing though. I've still got two pretty decent sized piles. I'm gonna guess I still have like 40 to 50 items to list. My body's just been taking it slow lately. We did go to the beach, which you'll see. And what else have I done this week? Not too much. I went grocery shopping this morning at the local Publix and I bought some blueberries and I still have lots of spinach in there. Oh, I went to the doctor again. I went for an ultrasound CT. No, just an ultrasound, I think. Um, and I'm gonna go see the general surgeon next week because I'm having a good bit of gallbladder issues still. And I have tried to change my diet a little bit I haven't been eating too many apples and nuts. I've been cutting down the nuts because he said that can give me gallbladder issues as well. But past that, I don't eat citrus. I don't eat grapes anymore. I don't eat, <laughs> I don't eat so much. So I don't know what's up with my gallbladder. I don't, I do every once in a while. My husband's gonna laugh because every once in a while is not like on rare, rare occasions, I do have some caffeine, uh, some diet soda. Sometimes with caffeine, sometimes not. Sometimes I'll just do like uh, root beer or diet root beer. But I go long stretches of time without soda and then I get on a soda kick. That's, it feels like one of the few things that I allow myself that doesn't hurt my body too noticeably. Okay, let's shut this baby off. And, ta-da! I'm going to show you the pairs of denim that I distressed. And I think the best method was from somebody on Instagram. If I can find them again, I'll post it here. But please know, none of this came out of my own brain. These were all methods that I found online, whether Instagram or YouTube, or just by Googling things and trying to figure out what worked. So I bought a bunch of denim from a Goodwill closing sale. My Goodwill was closing a couple weeks ago and I bought a ton of denim thinking I'm going to distress these. So they were very old denim or tapered denim, 100% cotton. A few pairs weren't and they didn't distress well. So I'm going to show you just run through the denim and make notes if there's anything to show. Okay, first pair 
These are vintage riders. They're a darker wash. The darker washes, you can see the distressing more. And I think this was actually better. And you'll see that in the colored denim that the white doesn't show up as much, so you couldn't see the distressing. So if you were doing this to resell, I think I would say go for darker denim and um, it looks a little bit better. I also use the technique, I tried the technique of pulling threads individually. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Don't do that. Uh, the better technique is just to, I used a rotary cutter, like a pizza wheel cutter, but if you don't, you could just make scissor marks and then throw them in the wash and dryer. That worked really well and took a whole lot less time. So I distressed the coin pocket, both sides on the outside. I stayed away from the middle area and the back pockets. All of this fringe you see came from just the wash. So I'll probably price most of these at about $20. And overall, this probably took me 20 to 40 minutes per pair of total time without the washer dryer since I wasn't hands-on with that. These are a newer style, they're lighter denim. You can still see the distressing. This was the first pair I did and I cut my cut marks too close together and the denim kind of fell away. So um, let me get behind the pocket here and I'll show you what I mean. So there's more of a hole then there are more of the stripe white fringe. And eh, it doesn't look as, as good as the fringe would have. Thankfully, there's a pocket there. I tried to stay away from cutting the pockets. Like this one was a little bit better. So this one I didn't cut as close together. And this pair, again, this took forever because I was pulling individual threads. So this pair I only did the front. Next pair are vintage Calvin Klein's. They're like a yellowy lime citrusy color. And this is what I mean by not seeing the distressing as much. With a darker denim, it's much more visible from afar. And the lighter colors of denim, it's a little bit harder to see. I did both pockets. I did both sides of the leg. And I didn't touch the back because these are really short. Next pair are little dragonfly shorts. These are a lighter color again, more like a medium wash. I used my flat iron to cuff these up, which you'll see more uh, later in the video. I didn't distress the pockets because they have dragonflies and I thought that was fairly cute. I don't want to worked pretty hard on these and I don't want the cuffs to come out so I'm just going to lay them beside me rather than fold them. I loved these. This is another example of not being able to see the distressing as much. When you wear them you'll be able to see them against a skin color but for photographing I don't think they're going to photograph as well. Distress the pockets. The coin pocket so mostly I did five areas down the front of the legs a little bit these actually had a little bit of distressing to them already the coin pocket and the two back pockets I think that's kind of what I went with for most of them I also bought a vintage hanger at that closing Goodwill so when I photograph them I will probably stage them with this vintage hanger we'll see next pair are Oh, I think I bought these like this. I don't think I touched these. I'm not sure why these are in the pile. Yeah, that wasn't mine distressing. That was factory distressing. Next pair, these are also riders. Another good example that the darker denim shows up better. I only did one of the back pockets. These are vintage Ralph Lauren. When the pockets had stitching across them, I found them a little bit tougher to distress just because I didn't want to interrupt that stitching. So I tried to stay away from the stitching. 
So I would say make your marks about half inch apart. Um, you can see a good, a good example of that here. This pair I just cut and threw in the wash, so all of that distressing I didn't have to hand pull. Aqua! I love these. Ha! <laughs> they match my shirt. These were, these are, what are you? Newport News. These are probably from the 90s. I loved Newport News. I bought a lot of their stuff in the, the late 90s, early 2000s. I have this pair and I have a pink pair that are the same size and style. So those came out pretty, pretty good. It's like a fruit striped gum pair. These are Massimo, so they can't possibly be too, too old. There was a hole in them before I even distressed them. And I didn't cuff these because of how short they came out. So when I was cutting, I learned this as I went and as I watched videos, you wanted to leave the inseam a little bit longer. Don't cut right at the inseam unless you really like that look and you're doing it for yourself. And then I cut a little bit more up. So, so cut up as you go toward the outside. Fruit straight gum. The 100% denim worked a lot better than anything with spandex. These have a lot of spandex. These have 23% elastorol, which was a spandex. And I was finding that the distressing, you can't see it too much and it's not that noticeable, but the white part was like balling up. So they weren't fringing as much. And I had that issue with this pair and one other pair. Though you can't really tell, I cut a lot of that fringing off. Black jeans. These are a faded Ralph Lauren. Again, probably somewhere in the 2000s. These weren't that old. The black, I couldn't really tell the distressing from afar either. Here's that pink pair I was talking about. These are also the Newport News. I'm sure somebody donated both of these at the same time. Here's some lighter denim. I know lighter denim, oh, these are heavy. What are these? I know lighter, lighter denim is in now. These are nobody. They are Gap, but somebody took off the pocket, um, not the pocket, the patch on the back and took out all of the sizes and things so you can only tell by the rivets and the button that these are gap but these are 100% denim we're getting there these are Walmart these probably aren't 100% are they 100% denim so high-waisted high-waisted mom jeans are kind of doing better these are a little bit of a lighter denim, so the cuff is not going to stay in them as much as the heavy denim. These were probably an earlier pair as well because they didn't do the backs, and I think I remember pulling the threads. Ugh. Another pair of vintage black ones. I decided not to cuff these. They are riders. I distress the front and the pockets, but again, you can't really see that distressing too well. I'm gonna have some issues when photographing these. Maybe. Okay, so these are also Faded Glory. These are 100% denim as well. The pockets were kind of cool, like an early 2000s style pocket. And the cuffs in these are, are not as, as good. You can see that more in the back. The cuffs are kind of a little wobbly. Next pair, Jordache. They are Jordache. They have a zipper, a metal zipper. These came out cute. This is a black denim, but the black must have been woven with the white. So you can see the distressing a whole lot more than the others. So I'm guessing these are probably 80s. I didn't distress the pockets 
because it had the Jordache, it has the Jordache patch. These I'll probably put up more for that $30 mark, which I have no idea if I'm actually gonna get that. These are Levi's, but they're a newer style. They're the Ultimate Lift Slim Straight 544 jeans. And I fringed these. So instead of cutting um, parallel to the ground, like horizontal, I cut straight up into the hems and that worked pretty well. I really liked the effect. So think of like car wash, car wash flaps. They kind of curled up and I liked that. Just something different. Levi's, these will probably be more in that 15 to $20 range. These are LEIs. These were probably early 2000s. Size 11, 100% cotton. Does it say date? It doesn't. These are really short. Some of them I decided to cut shorter because of stains on the denim. I went a little bit higher. Those have some cool back pockets too. Another pair of black, these are Liz Claiborne's, and the black wasn't mixed with a white, so the fading is, is there. They're faded black, but the white strings aren't. Pair of purple. These are Walmart. Probably early 2000s, somewhere there. And even though they're 100% cotton, I had the treble with the hems again. I think an iron, an actual iron instead of a flat iron might help that. So I'll just mention that. I'm gonna mention it in all of my listings that these were hand distressed and when you wash them, they might fringe up a bit more and the hems would come down. So if you wanted those cuffs in place, you would have to repress those. Also, <laughs> I found out very early on, I don't think I cut through those pockets. I cut through a few pockets. So make sure your pockets are out of your way. These are riders. This is a, a, good, um, a good pair to show you that cut up and not down or cut across, but I cut up on these, which I think gave them a little bit of a better look. I didn't cuff them. And yeah, these are a 14 petite. So again, a lot of the sizes is gonna be different for, for modern sizing. So I'll just make sure to put that if they're vintage or not. Like these are a size 12. These are fairly tiny. I don't think a, a size 12 person, I'm like a 10 at this point, maybe even a 12 because I'm curvy. There's no way I'm fitting into these. I might've fit into these when I was a size six. They are vintage Lee. They're more blue than like jean color. I didn't do the back pockets. I did do a few spots in the front. A few more pairs. These are Express. Um, and the style is Precision Fit C-E-T-I-N-E. These are, are fairly tiny. What size are these? These are a six. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm doubting that six, but maybe. And these I cut really short because they had some issues right underneath. So these are more of a booty short. I don't think I can use Daisy Duke. Daisy Duke is trademarked. So eBay will pull my listing if I do that. This is Gap Slim Fit, size small. I'm not sign, saying the size of all of them, but you can obviously see these are a bigger size than these size six, right? Yeah, this is, these size six are definitely smaller. So when I list them, I will either put vintage distressed denim or um, like these Gap, Gap usually says when they're made. So let's see if this says this. I'm guessing this was like a 2004. Nope, it doesn't say it. Oh, I take that back, 2003. Pretty close. So they're 15 years old. Oh my goodness, that's so fun. These are Victoria's Secret Pink. 
these had a good bit of distressing already so I didn't have to add that much which was great another pair of really light denim these are so wear it declare it 100% cotton I had strings just float around my house I still do even though we vacuumed a bunch doing this distressing there's just like random denim street strings around the house Calvin Klein I think these were men's um, as they're size 30 oh no they were boot cut so it must be a woman's and I left the pockets out however I did cut a slight bit off this pocket the pocket is still stitched it still works it still gives the look but I should have known better and last pair are Gap these were from spring of 2008 so these are only about 10 years old so tips for cutting denim if you're going to do this to resell please know that my eBay store might be different from your Poshmark store your eBay store these were just things that I found along the way one darker denim usually looks better two a heavier 100% denim worked better than an elastic blend and a lighter blend of denim because the hems just didn't stay cuffed in place when I flat iron them three if you are pulling out individual threads with a tweezer, there is a better way of getting that distressed look. Just cutting the denim and throwing them in the wash and dryer, so much easier. Four, if you're going to do a large amount of denim, it's easier to do like a production line. So cutting all of them, then putting them all in the wash, then flat ironing them all at the same time, rather than like, cutting them, washing them, flat ironing. It just takes more time that way. And always cut the, the cut lines, the distress marks, parallel to the ground. So like a horizontal cut rather than a vertical cut, except when it comes to hems. If you want that little bit of a car wash look to your hems, you can cut vertically. Stay away from cutting the inseam too much unless you like that look. You really want to leave that crotch area a little bit more covered if you're wearing any kind of underwear underneath and don't want to show that area. So it's, it's better to either cut up toward the sides or straight across to the sides. I cut one pair starting from the inseam down and I'm not sure why I did that. I just got the angle wrong. Like instead of going up, I cut down. Don't do that too much. Again, you might look the, like the look of something different, but this is just to sell and go as fast as possible because this took a long time. Um, I don't think I have any more tips. Oh, watch the pockets, which is a no brainer, except I didn't watch the pockets. So when you're cutting, you don't want to cut into the pockets because then your pockets will not be functional. <laughs> you put something in that, it's just going to fall out of your pocket if you cut your pocket. Keep something underneath the layers so you're not cutting straight through and stay away from cutting that front crotch area or anywhere where you're going to have underwear showing. Again, unless you want your underwear showing. like right here right near the zipper i didn't touch too much because again you don't want that area showing most likely i th think overall i watched probably a dozen or more videos and there was still a learning curve for me i don't know why that is <laughs>
and I hope you have a great day. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.